I would like to show you what is new in the latest version of my Python web app. The first thing you will notice is that the valves, I mean the web scripts, have a CPV prefix. Uh, this is necessary to make them uh, editable. So here you go, you see that all the valve scripts have CPV. So this is necessary to make them editable in the 3D space. The second thing you have to do usually to make something editable in the 3D space is to add parametric or custom to the component designation in the spec editor spec editor tab. So here you go, you have customer parametric in the in component designation. But these things are spec related. So these are not hard coded in the catalog. So whenever you make a check for updates from catalogs, you will lose this value. You will lose this um, component designation, this parametric or custom value. Therefore, what I usually do is that I add this value to the catalog itself. I can do that in an SQLite expert. Uh, when I open the catalog, on, on the engineering table, you will see the component designation here. You can edit every line. I just edit custom there. You can edit all the lines one by one, but that is the easier way to do this on the SQL tab here. Uh, just enter these four lines, execute this SQL command, and for all lines, you will have the parametric value in our sample. So this way, the catalog itself contains this component designation value and whether you make check for updates in the spec editor or not that this parametric value will stay as it is the other thing related to this update you might want to do is to change the script of your already created valves from the original ones to the ones with the cpv prefix i mean if you have created some valves and you want to make them editable in the 3D space as well. So in this case, uh, use the export to Excel button in the spec editor, export it to, let's say, to the desktop. You will have then an Excel sheet with many, many datas, mm, almost like uh, in the same way as in the SQL editor. Here you can just add this CPV prefix to the shape name and you just simply copy paste there. You should do this on all tabs uh, for all the valves. Another thing is that here you can also add the parametric and uh, custom value to the component designation. Just you have to remove the, the protection of the fields and unhide uh, all the hidden columns and if you do that, you can find the component designation here as well. So if it's uh, more comfortable to you, you can use Excel as well to edit this uh, component designation field and add custom or uh, parametric here. You just have to save this uh, Excel file and uh, you can go back to the spec editor and uh, uh, import it back from Excel. So this file, I can import it back. And uh, after checking the updates, uh, we will have this resolve Excel import changes window with all the changes you have made. It was uh, highlighted uh, with yellow color. You accept all these changes. And after that, the scripts should be changed. And you will see it from the picture. You see, the pictures and parameters are back because now it is uh, related to the correct uh, Python scripts. So if you have done everything correctly, write Python script name and write component designation, you will see the parameters in the 3D space in the properties window, as you can see here. I can change, for example, the thickness of this valve and it will change on the go. So that was our target in today's video. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.